Well, the owner of a Kailua kayak rental company says he was trying to cool down the opposition, but tonight his conflict with those who oppose commercial activity at Kailua beaches remain as hot as ever. As KITV4 Shane Enright reports, neither side is backing down. For a second day, residents who support a ban on commercial activity at Kailua and Kalama beaches protested in front of Two Good Kayaks Hawaii. They were there yesterday to demonstrate outside while company owner Bob Too Good held a press conference inside. But the press conference was canceled and Too Good turned a hose on the group in front of his store. It wasn't to cool people off. People were not asking to be sprayed. They have every right to be out there and protest and make fools of themselves. Too Good says he does not regret his actions, which resulted in his arrest on four counts of harassment. And regulation is needed for sure. But Today, he invited the media and other impacted businesses to his shop to say he agrees limits on commercial activity are necessary, but a complete ban is too extreme. And even though the city council passed a bill prohibiting unpermitted activity seven days a week, Too Good believes the mayor should veto the measure or businesses will close. Well, you don't have to put a lot of people on the unemployment roll. You don't have to close down small business and in the process of doing it, not solve the problem. Even though they've already got the council's support, proponents are not backing down until the bill becomes law. Both sides agree the decision affects future generations and if not handled carefully, could leave a community divided. Well, it definitely has polarized a, a good deal of the community and perhaps rightfully so because it is something that should be addressed. Uh, but should be addressed in a socially responsible means. And while the bill banning commercial activity seven days a week sits on the mayor's desk, there is a new law prohibiting businesses from the beach on weekends. Tonight at 6, confusion over how that law is being enforced. Shane Enright, KITV4 News. All right, thanks a lot, Shane. Well